Come on, up. Wakey, wakey. Get ready for golf. Go, go. Unless I'm dreaming, half the world is still in lockdown and the weather is pretty terrible in Scotland right now. So there is no golf. Indeed it is. However, I have got us a tea time booked on the old course for 11am. You ready? On the old course for 11? How do you manage that? Want to find out? I want to find out. Let's go. What have I got to do? Get dressed. Let's go. Let's go. I'm finally going to get to play the old course. What's the plan? What's supposed to do with that? So most places are still in lockdown and there's no golf. Golf is open here in Scotland, but we've been rain, sleeted and snowed off the course almost every day for the last few weeks. So we found a way that we can play the old course from our living room with a five golf home simulator. Does that mean there could be competition on the line here as we attempt to ready swing indoors, hopefully. <laughs> competition is always on. Up for it? I'm up for it. Yeah, Let's open it up. Give it a go. Well, I guess the first thing to do is open the box. Well, in this neatly packaged box, it looks like we have chip to go in butt of club, charger to charge said chip, and a club. And a set of instructions. So let's see how we use it. Setup of the game is actually surprisingly simple. You just take your club out. Oh, it's actually really heavy. It actually feels like the weight of an actual club. Take your club out of the box and you insert the reader into the tip of the club and this will track all of your stats and your information. Now you need to download the app from either Play Store or Apple Store, one of those places. You can put it onto your phone, tablet, computer, whatever suits you, and they link together by Bluetooth. So let's get these bad boys connected and let's swing some shots. simple, download the app, set it up with your email and create a password and you've got all of the information here on the screen. There's training apps, there's online games, local games etc. So we are going to have a few practice swings in the training app. practice swings in training mode it's just like the driving range and it does actually swing pretty accurately to what you would usually swing you can change the club and set it for whatever one you want to use now although it is short it's about two-thirds of our normal club size you don't have to touch it on the ground you just hold it in your normal club position and swing as you ordinarily would you just need to get a little bit of confidence that you're not going to swing and smash up your living room and give it a good proper go and it will pick up and register your distance as it usually would. So I'm in the driving range with a 7 iron and I'm going to try and get some distance on this. So it flashes up ready to go and it'll tell you to address the ball on the screen. When the little arrows on the screen go blue it is ready for you to take your swing. And you swing as you normally would and it's bouncing down the range and it's giving me not a very good shot. <laughs> right, I'm going to try this again. So address the ball as you normally would. Stand in your normal position when the little arrows go blue. That's more like it. Now I'm swinging slightly right at the moment which does actually make sense because it is pulling to the right on the screen and that's 115 yards which is pretty much what I would get with a 7 iron. 115, 120. So actually it's coming in pretty accurate. Let's have another few. Surprisingly, this is actually 
pretty accurate to my yardage. I'm about 150 to 160 with a 7 iron and this is pretty spot on. Dispersion however is way better with a 5 golf stick. This needs to go in my bag because my slices are more like baby fades which is awesome. So with my baby fade in check and my practice done, I think it's time we went and played some golf. Don't you? Yes. Let's do it. So it looks like someone didn't make the bat. And we haven't managed to get ourselves a tee time on the old course. However, St Andrews have been pretty good to us and have given us the jubilee instead <laughs> for a three hole match play. Now considering that I won the nearest up in Feeling pretty confident. First hole, first tee shot, let's do it. So we are teed up on the Jubilee course and it gives us a really good accurate description. It's telling us it's 335 yards, there's a par 4 with a dog leg left to the hole and with a wind coming in at 5.4 miles an hour. So it's giving us a really good accurate description of what we're actually playing for today. And Lloyd Golf is going first. So with the kitchen, as my fairway, ready for the first shot. Aim point, the fairy liquid bottle, here goes. And you're away, nicely done. Straight down the fairway, dead centre of fairway. You hit two, six, seven. That Boom, was great, great drive. Great drive. Oh, it's a little right, just like normal. I'm a little bit off to the right, slightly in the rough, 154 yards in. So I'm going with a three wood from here as I'm slightly in the rough. But I should have a clear shot to the green. Oh, it's a good swing, fairly straight, but a little short. Hmm. On the fairway. 70 yards for my second shot, aiming at the kitchen weighing scales, here it goes. Up and over and you are, oh you're in the rough, you hit it too long, you hit it 30 yards too long. Jesus, I know I had wheat bigs for breakfast but for the hell. So I've got 59 yards to the pin and it's given me a sand wedge which is exactly what I would choose, it's my favourite club of late and I hit it really well for this shot, so hopefully it'll actually work the same with the ready swing. So here goes. Oh, that's great. Oh, just on the fringe. Oh, just, I'm just off the green, slightly into the rough. That's a good shot though, good distance. So basically, I'm chipping over the junk in the hallway, landing spot on the kitchen floor, and in to the washing machine. Yes, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's very good. In yards, so I'm going to putt even though I'm slightly in the rough, I think. You're going to putt? Yeah. You change to a putt? Yeah, change me to a putter. Oh. Only 14 yards. It's a tricky shot. This is our first time actually using it as a putter, so it'll be interesting to see how hard or soft. You have to hit it. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, that's a great pot. What am I? A yard from the fin? Got your bogey. So if you manage to get the ball within the circle near the hole, it gives you the gimme. So Fifi gets a bogey, so this is for the hole. Oh, and you've skied it way past the hole. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So you are now on your sixth shot and you are now 26 feet from the hole. I'm on my sixth shot. <laughs> so hole number two on the Jubilee is 356 yard par four. Pretty straight hole all the way and a very slight wind is giving us about 3.9 miles per hour wind. So I'm feeling pretty confident. <laughs> well after a terrible bit of chipping and putting, this is not good. Second hole, 
to all of our aiming for the pasta. Felt fairly it's good. It's a great swing. Felt good. You're on the fairway, your bounce just slightly off into the rough, just by like. So it's picking up the swing really well and giving a really good accurate reading of Lloyd's drive. So I need to do really well to keep in competition with them for this one. Oh, oh in the right into oh. the bush. Oh, out of bounds, out of bounds, free off the tee. Come on. Free off the tee. Should go again. You're off the tee again. <laughs> oh. So our hole was pretty straight. They ended up out of bounds. So I'm back on the tee. Man. It's a better That's shot. Better. I'm just, just in the rough and no more. My first shot took me slightly into the rough. Second shot. 113 yards in, pitching wedge, aiming for the pots and pans. It's good, it's good, it's very good. You are a little short, you're just off the green. I feel like I'm hitting it a little short. Is it, I think it's just that I'm, I feel nervous like swinging in your own home like with a record player and lots of things, but really you shouldn't be. Once you've got enough distance, you should just really give it a good swing. Is it me to go again? It is you to go again. You've got okay, 34 so got yards. 34 yards the pin with my sand wedge. That should be doable. So not a full swing here, just a little maybe two thirds swing. It's good. It's very Ooh, good. Oh, I could be back in this game. Well, it seems like I may have been rewarded with Fifi's free off the tee, out of bounds. So another shot, little chip. Here it goes. Great, straight, great line, but just short. You're still 14 yards. Very good. Nice chip, nicely done. Double par though, little fox. <sighs> actually quite hard to putt that's the only thing it's totally fine to take a swing but to putt you just need to be really gentle with the putting so that's something to learn third and final hole in our little competition tricky hole for me par five 549 yards for you that is a long hole well it all comes down to this all the ready swing training and the fire golf practice indoors comes down to this last hole aiming down the kitchen fairway towards the knives here it goes oh that's really munched that felt good it felt good that's it a fairway finder very good so i am 521 off the tee for my third hole on this power five and i'm not a long hitter i'm usually pretty straight so hopefully i can get the ready swing stick to hit straight and keep it on the fairway this time Still just off the rough. I'm still pulling to the right. How long did I hit? A little short again, 150 yards. Mm -hmm. I'm saying about 15 yards short. Mm. I just don't think you're, yeah, you're brave enough to give it yeah. a proper welly. Yeah. So I'm hitting it a little short. I'm probably not brave enough to give it some full welly, so I'm going to have to absolutely melt this one to get it back in line. So I'm 223 from the pin. I need the second shot to be decent to keep up on track with Lloyd. Oh, it looks melted. You've melted it still in the rough. 108 yards in the rough. Oh, man. Aiming towards that victory bacon roll. <laughs> Did we munch it? Did we munch it? Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm 72 yards in. Uh, I'm gonna go with pitching wedge. That sounds a bit right for me. I 
felt pretty good. Just on the right side. Just off, I could pop from there. How, how far out am I? You are 16.9 yards from there. Oh, oh, you were in and you were out. Unlucky. I might take Fifi's tactic. Give me the par. Come on. You got a sand wedge. Do you want to change it to a pasher? Yeah, go on. Give me the par from there. Pipe from the three inches. A Lynx course. Yep. Ready? Mm-hmm. Here goes. Oh, you're short. <laughs> I mean, I'm short. <laughs> you're outside the circle by about three inches. <laughs> I'm a very good potter as where I can actually save things whereas this is tricky on the potting for sure I'll just take a little bit of practice to get used to how it feels and it is slightly different obviously than actually potting how many yards am I from my? 10 10 need to be nice and easy, nice and canny nah, I'm miles away, you're off the green now what, the other side? yeah, you hit that, you hit that 50 yards nearly no way yeah, you need to go again yards, I barely moved the stick. That's a Lynx course, the ground's firm. It's to do with the Lynx course, it's to do with the stick. You ready? Yep, yeah, 31 yards. Oh, you're in, you're in the circle. Quadru okay. Oh, in the hole! Come on, <laughs> I made par! Come on! No, you made bogey. That's a par five. It says bogey. That's my fifth shot. Yeah, you must have picked up one of those little tippy tappy ones. Well, that's cheating. You <laughs> told me I was ready to go. Well, I feel completely cheated by that par at the end. Someone wasn't paying attention to random tappy taps, just trying to get like extra shots in there so she wins. However, <laughs> winner, funny. winner, bacon roll dinner. <laughs> it is really, really good fun. Really good interactive game. All the family can play it. Definitely any sort of skill level. Beginner golfers right up to sort of, you know, um, more professional golfers would definitely enjoy it. It is, you know, it does feel slightly different. I think the swing for the long shots feels pretty accurate, but the potting definitely feels slightly different and you either tap it too light and it doesn't pick it up or you tap it too hard and it seems to go way over the hole. So that's something we just need to sort of practice a little bit. But I am game for playing all day long and trying loads more courses around the world. That's yeah, so I'd, fun. I'd say sensitivity is the biggest thing for this. I think it was pretty accurate, like you say, on the long shots. On the short tippy shots and putting shots definitely takes some getting used to. Awesome features about this is this comes out and can actually be plugged into your real clubs. So if you've got room to swing, unlike we have, then you can actually play somewhat real golf with the fire golf, which is awesome. I'm going to empty out an entire room upstairs, our big spare bedroom, which is really big. I still don't think I could swing the driver up there. The high ceiling, do not give it a go. Like I'd love to try it with my actual clubs. And because we were filming it today, we needed space for the camera and the equipment. Whereas when we're just gonna play ourselves, we're actually gonna like Chromecast it onto the TV so we can actually play towards the TV screen. Obviously you need to make sure you've got plenty of space for that and no one needs to end up with a smart TV screen. So the biggest question. Yes. Is this the answer to lockdown golf? It is so, so fun. And I just enjoy the challenge of playing with you and the bit of competition and the banter. And it feels like we're actually on the golf course when Lloyd is like making fun of me. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed it. I would definitely use it again. Um, I would wear a glove next time. I definitely think it needs a glove. It is really fun. Loved it. Good. Yeah? You? Four hours charged. So four hours of fun yeah. play before you need to charge it again. And the good thing about it is you can use it anywhere i mean absolutely anywhere guys as always we came here for golf and, and this, this is, is what, what we saw. saw i know this is lockdown golf yeah but what are those for what <laughs> well no one's gonna see my feet <laughs> i was surprised you mentioned that earlier to be honest <laughs>